rascal are you? Okay. Are you having a good time today? Oh, I'm having a time. That's wonderful. And everything's just working perfect up there. That's great. I'm going to yeah. ride with it. Engine's working fine, huh? Okay. One, two. Sure glad you're here. Are you going to give us a ride? Sure, I want you to ride the camp with me. All right. <laughs> Happy birthday, led by the Backstreet Barbershop Quartet. Join in. It's a great deal of pleasure to introduce the president of Old Tucson, Robert Shelton. Well, hello and welcome to the anniversary of the Reno, 111 years old this year. He's a wonderful piece of history. Uh, you can tell by the um, tickets uh, or the certificates you get, uh, the wonderful uh, history she's had, the people that she's pulled, the Ulysses S. Grant, right on down to a great array of historic figures. It was purchased by uh, MGM Studio many, many years ago when they used them. Hundreds of pictures that you see on late night television and on cable. I saw it on the Harvey Girls the other night with the uh, whole big cast, Judy Garland and all. Uh, I bought her from, old, from uh, MGM, uh, brought her to Tucson, and she's appeared again uh, in many, many pictures. There's just about as many as when MGM had it. And, uh, we were very fortunate when we got to Reno because, you know, having an engine, a steam engine, is not just something that you just sit there because you've got to take care of it. And it's very hard to do. Very few people know about steam anymore. A lot of the old steam uh, engineers and firemen and brakemen are all gone. They're a part of the past. But we had one guy who was uh, came forward and volunteered to take care of the Reno for us. And he's been with us for many years. He has about 30 years of steam experience under his belt. And he's the guy who really keeps the Reno running. I'd like to have you say hello to Gene Smith, our engineer. Hello, good people. I'm Gene Smith. And you know I'm very proud to be able to have a hand in taking care of that engine. It's so old and so nice, and it's running perfectly today. And it burned wood from 1872 to 1905 and converted to oil in 1905 and an automatic supper farm. It's been burning oil ever since. We keep that wood burning stack on there and wood on the penny to make it look like a wood burning. But everything is fine. And I, if you don't mind, I'd like to introduce my fireman, Melvin Butler. been my fireman ever since we had the engine and about here's my brakeman that's been with me the three of us have been on this ever since it's been a boat since gone. Let's see everybody out today. Make a day for the And here's my conductor for today. For the conductor for today, Mr. John Waring. Thank you so much, and I appreciate you being here. And another thing, I want to thank the people of the Southern Pacific for their assistance and the help that they've given me. Thank you. But you can't have a birthday without a birthday cake, and you can't have an official uh, ceremony like this and uh, celebrate the birthday of a wonderful old historic star without the chief executive of our city being here to do it. To assist us. So I'd like at this time to introduce uh, our mayor, our chief executive yeah. officer, Lewis Murphy, now and in the future. 
Welcome, Your Honor. Thank you. When I was black When he was a dashing young Irishman at the University of Arizona, why uh, they made the Oklahoma down here in this part of the country, and they asked to put out a call for handsome leading men, and he showed up and got the job, and he was in Oklahoma. So I'll let you take it from there. Thank you, my friend. Thank you very much. Thank you for the invitation to join with all of you uh, in celebrating the 111th birthday of the Reno. Actually, uh, I'd heard that it was Bob Shelton's 111th birthday, and I wasn't going to miss that party because I've been to several of his previous birthday parties. And I want to tell you, it's probably Bob Shelton is going to live to be 111. And I hope we all had an opportunity to participate in that birthday of his as well. I think one of the exciting things about uh, the Reno is the fact that uh, motion picture making and movies are, uh, we think of as kind of uh, being false or being fake or being make-believe. And here is a classic example of something that has served the traveling public and now makes movies 111 years after it was made in, in Philadelphia. And it lives here uh, in old Tucson, Arizona. I'm delighted to have an opportunity, uh, Bob, thank you very much, and ladies and gentlemen, uh, to join with you, hopefully, in having a ride on the Reno. Uh, I haven't been on it yet. Uh, I, I hope maybe uh, before I get out this afternoon, I'll have an opportunity to ride it. I hope all of you will want to take the opportunity to ride on this uh, beautiful old uh, historic mode of uh, early American transportation. Congratulations to the Reno. Congratulations to its crew who are responsible for keeping it in this absolutely magnificent shape. And to Bob Shelton and old Tucson's ingenuity in bringing it from Southern California where, in fact, it might have been cast aside into one of its original settings here in the great southwestern desert. So happy birthday, Reno. Nice to see all of you folks. Delighted to be here today. Well, I know you're, well, you're busy campaigning, so thank you That's for taking... Right. What do you think I'm doing? Oh, I... <laughs> yeah. uh, thanks for taking time out from my know it's a very busy schedule for you. Now, as you will uh, perform one more ceremony, which is to take the knife and cut it through one time, we'll put you on the train and you can go back to your campaign. Yeah, it's okay. Well, you can see he can cut the cake. Uh, I want to tell you the cake here will be over in the tent area, which everyone is invited for a free bite. We hope it goes around, but uh, Danny, our head food and beverage director, will take it over to the tent, cut it up for everybody to participate in the anniversary cake.